Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming my What I Got For Christmas 2015 video and I know a lot of you have been asking me when this is going to be up and I just wanted to clear something up as well. My god, I'm having a bad hair day. I'm sure it didn't look like this in the mirror. Basically people kept asking me on Instagram when I'm doing my video and I replied to one girl because she put a lot of question marks and I just said um, like I have a job, I want to spend time, you know, with my family over Christmas, just like everyone else does. And I personally don't get that much time off over Christmas. So I do my videos when I can and that would it. And I had people calling me rude and all this sort. And I genuinely wasn't being rude. I'm just saying like, I can't say when I'm going to get a video up. Why do I look bald? This is awful. Um, I can't actually say when I'm going to get a video up because... I do still work over the Christmas holidays and just like everyone else I want to spend time with my family and have a bit of a break so that's the reason why it hasn't gone up straight away or you know in the time scale that everyone else has because they told me to keep up with everyone else because they've all got their videos up but like I said in a million and one videos before YouTube is not my job it's just a hobby so I don't want to feel pressured into getting you know videos up I just get them up when I can so yes, I just wanted to clear that up for anyone else who thought I was being rude or anything like that. I also have a stupid amount of presents this year and I've been completely spoiled. So anyone who wants to come spoiled, then I have been really spoiled and that's probably true. And I'll be so glad to just get them away. I've been, I said this last year in my other video and people thought I was being rude then again as well, which I'm actually not. I'm just saying like... I've had this bag in the corner of my bedroom and just want to tie it in my bedroom so I'll be glad to put it all away because to be honest I haven't even had a chance to look through what's in the bag so I've just put it all there and yes, yeah, so I'm quite, what's the word, I don't know, quite happy to do this video because I can finally remember what I got throughout Christmas. So anyway I'm going to show up rambling and with the negative stuff and I'm just going to get on with the video. This year I didn't really ask for anything in particular because I couldn't think of anything I wanted. Um, but I just asked for a few things like makeup and stuff that I personally don't like buying because I find it really expensive. But things that I do want, so yeah. But I'm going to get started because I really need to shut. So the first thing I have here, I got two cushions. And these go like in my bedroom because these are turquoise. I'll just pick stuff randomly out of the bag. They're not going to be from a certain order of who bought me what because everything's just in the bag. So I'll tell you who is from what. Um, so yeah, I got these from my mum and... Yeah, they're just fluffy cushions and I got two of these. And um, please remember, I did not buy any of this stuff, so I don't know where everything is from unless it's got, you know, some form of label on. I don't know where anything's from. So, yeah, I'm really sorry if I don't know where it's from and you ask me. But these are from Primark. So I got those cushions. Um, I did ask for this dressing gown because I desperately needed a new one. I have two dressing gowns and they've just been worn to death. So I asked for this one. And this is from New Look and as you can see it's like a fluorescent orangey pink colour. And this one it doesn't go all the way down to your feet which my other ones do and I always end up tripping over because I'm too small. Uh, but this one's like knee length and it's so soft. I was saying to my mum like I can't tie the belt around it because it comes undone because it's so soft. But yeah I just loved the colour of this that's why I went for this one. Then the next thing I have here is actually something I bought myself. Uh, but my dad gave me Christmas money, so I just, you know, I haven't even spent it all yet because I haven't even had a chance to go anywhere. I just nipped to Boots after work the other day and got these curlers. I've wanted them for a while and they're really, really cheap, so I don't know why I've not bought them before. But these are the Babyliss Curling Wand Pro. And they're just, I don't know how to explain, I've got no clippy thing on them, they're just like a tongue. But then it sort of goes thinner towards the end and thicker at the other end. And they give like a really, really like defined curl and that's why I wanted them. And they were only £20 from Boots, which is a bargain. And then I have a box of stuff in here because I did get some trainers, which I will show. And I've just put loads of my stuff in the trainer box. Now these are something that I put on Instagram and everyone's been asking me where they're from. And these are one of the things I don't know where they're from. And the, these Adidas trainers, I should have asked him really. These are from my boyfriend, I should have asked him, but I can't remember. I forgot, completely forgot to ask him. And they're the Adidas Superstar ones, but they don't look that nice on camera. But if you can see the sort of 
holographic are the stripes and so are the back as well and they change colours I do think you can only get these in kids sizes as well I'm not sure but they just like remind me of unicorns and stuff and I love them they're so nice I did want the ones with the black stripes as well but I absolutely love these ones these are way more me so in the adidas box I don't even know what I've put in here so the first thing I have here from my mum is a portable charger for my phone and this is a pink one and I do have one of these already but it's black and it obviously pink is much better but I my phone you know what you know what iPhones are like they always run out of battery so it's always good to have two of these and you can put it on your keys as well because it's got a keyring on the end of it so that'll come in handy with me uh, the next thing off my boyfriend that I did ask for you I don't think any boyfriend would understand what this is and I have used it so it looks really messy now but it was the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette you can't see anything when it's like mirrored because you can just see my ring light thing uh, but yeah I got it in medium because I wanted the contour to be quite dark because I'm always got I'm always got that makes sense Liv I have always got uh, fake tan on so I wanted something a little bit darker than my actual foundation and I've been using this one here which is probably the lightest brown but yeah, I've been really, really liking it and I haven't used it every day. I've just been using it like when I go out and stuff, but I have been liking it from when I have used it. And I think it was from Beauty Bay, if anyone wanted to know, but I think a lot of people, um, a lot of places do stock it now. And what's the next thing I'm going to pull out? I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Again, this was from a boyfriend, something I asked for and he was like, why have I bought you a bottle of water for 20 quid? And I was like, you don't understand just boys do not understand i know where to go for i wanted the urban decay one um but i'd heard good things about the smashbox one so i thought i'd go with this one it was two pounds less i think and i was going to go with the mac prep and prime as well but it was out of stock so i went for this one and that was from boots and what's next um from my sister i got the anastasia beverly hills i don't even know what it Deep Brow Promad, I think I'm pronouncing that right. So it looks like this and it's just an eyebrow gel and it's honestly the best eyebrow product I have ever, ever used. Um, this is what it looks like and I got the shade Chocolate. Again, I think that's from Beauty Bay because you can get the Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff on there and it, honestly, it's just the best thing that's ever happened to my eyebrows. It's amazing. Sticking with makeup from my auntie, I got the MAC World Lipstick and I do already have this but it is my favourite lipstick so I've got it as a spare, not spare but like a backup in case I run out of it or if I will lose it or anything like that then I do have another one but that can go to the back of my lipstick so I don't end up using that one. Sticking with makeup again, um, from one of my friends I got the I got the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter and I've used this every single day. This is probably the best highlighter I have ever used. Um, so it looks like this and it's in the shade Golden Lights and it is amazing. You can get this from Superdrug and I don't think Revolution's that expensive and I also recommend it to anyone. It's amazing. The best highlighter I've ever used. I'll say it again. From my manager at work I got two things which is in here somewhere oh god I'm gonna have to I got two Ted Baker items I got this makeup bag which I absolutely love the print of and I've used this already again I do need to take the label off actually but I just like the print of this and I used it to put my makeup brushes in when I stayed out and I also got this Ted Baker 10 carat kiss set and as you can see I've not even opened this it's got a uh, two lip glosses in um, a cheek tint and a mirror so that's a really cute set and that's the back of it also sticking with Ted Baker I got um, the secret well one of the secret Santa presents I got at work was Ted Baker as well and it comes in this little box and you open it up and it's really really nice packaging uh, this is what it is it is a body shimmer souffle and I've been using this every time I go out because it looks really nice um, over like the top of your tan because it's all shimmery and it smells nice as well so yeah I've absolutely been loving that I'm not really one for creams because I can never be bothered to put them on but I really do like that one because it gives you a shimmer when you're going out and you look all bronze next thing I have from my mum was this little makeup bag and it's got like 
sea fish scale seashells uh, fish scales all over it and it's glittery and it says mermaiding and it's really cute and a lot of you know I'm obsessed with like mermaids and stuff like that so that was a perfect present for me and the last thing in this box were some socks again from my mum and they are unicorn socks and I don't have a clue where these are from but how cute are they Oh, I just love unicorns and stuff. I'm so sad I'm not a normal 22 year old at all. I just pulled a load of stuff out of the bag and now I cannot move. Um, so, I don't know where to start. Going back in the bag, um, I got a Pandora ring off my boyfriend. So the bag's a bit squashed now because it's been in the bottom of the bag. But I do have it on and it is the heart ring. Well, it's a really tiny heart, but I got the pink one. You can get it in silver and red but I like the pink one obviously it's my favourite colour um, I'm trying to think what else he got me because it's just easy to share everything from him um, he got me a pug teddy because obviously you all know how much I love pugs so that's so cute and he also got me a massive box of mini rolls because mini rolls are my favourite like chocolate thing ever so yeah I'm, I'm surprised I haven't even eaten any of those yet I just haven't I haven't had a chance to do anything yet, it's been like a proper busy Christmas. I think my camera's moved slightly because it just ran out of charge. I think it was more like that, but now you can see all the mess of the presents on my bed. Um, so, sticking with my boyfriend, well this is for, actually from my boyfriend's mum, and he got me, she got me a few other stuff, but they're in my car. The, there's quite a few stuff in my car, I don't know why I've got, um, I got some new car mats, which are in my car obviously, and some CDs, and then I've left, I got a bag and purse, which there's nothing in if anyone was going to try and rob my car, which hopefully none of you are. But um, there's nothing in the bag or purse. But yeah, she got me a bag and purse as well. Uh, but she also got me this wine glass, which I haven't even ha opened. But I'm going to open it now on video so I can see what it looks like properly. So it's one of those that have like been glittered and it's all in pink. And then at the bottom it's got my name on. And inside she's got like loads of little chocolates and sweets and stuff. This is perfect for me when I'm having a drink. And it's got little crystals around here as well if you can see that. Um, and then off my boyfriend's grandma I got a load of stuff as well. Because I went to the house and they have like a stocking and there was loads of stuff in the stocking. And I did get um, a River Island voucher as well but obviously there's no point showing that. So she got me this link set which I've never used before I've never used the Lynx girls so I love shower gel and sprays and things like that and in this stocking were loads and loads of stuff there were some bath bombs which I love bath bombs as well I haven't had a bath in ages and that sounds dirty but obviously I've had a shower I have a shower every day but I haven't had a bath in ages so I'm definitely going to be using my bath bombs and then I got some love heart candles and I've never seen these before but I am obsessed with candles so I just want to open them and smell them. I don't know what they smell like because I've not opened them, but I'll be definitely lighting one of those after this video. Um, I also got this candle, which is a vanilla one, which is my favourite scent. So that'll be nice to light as well. Then I got this like hanging heart, which you can put a photo in. So I'm going to hang that up. It does actually go in my bedroom quite well, does that? And there was a diary. With, but this goes well in my bedroom as well. This is like matching my bedroom. And a pen. They go together. And some chocolate coins and love hearts. I haven't had chocolate coins in so long. I haven't had them since I was little. Um, a hairbrush, which I desperately need in a new hairbrush because my other one, I've got the tangle teasers, which I love, but I use these ones for drying my hair with. And the other one, I've like burnt all the, um, all the bristles. So I was really glad to get a new hairbrush. And then a pair of gloves and one of those shower things. I don't even know what they're called, but yeah. So there was loads in that stocking. I've just been spoiled by everyone this year. I feel proper spoiled. And another present off my mum is this Fairy Stars light projector. And it's so cute. I've had, I've had this on like the first night, on Christmas night. And it's a little like light. I don't even be able to see it on camera because it's still light outside. But you put the it signs all these different colours, but on your ceiling, like it looks like stars and it's proper cute. Now, I just love it. I love stuff like that. I love lights and things. So 
She knows me too well, that's my mum. The fairies and stuff, I need to grow up. <laughs> then the same friend that bought my Revolution highlighter also bought me these slippers and their little, my little, uh, God, that was a mouthful. My Little Pony slippers and those that you sort of just slip on and off. As soon as I open these, I put them straight on. And they're surprisingly really warm and fluffy inside and yeah. Everyone just knows me too well, like with the pink and My Little Pony. And she also got me this bag, which somehow has a bow stuck to it. Uh, she got me this clutch bag from Topshop and I love these bags. The the but I could never fasten it, but the sort of furry, fleecy clutch bags. And then if you lift it up, it's got these orange stripes underneath. I haven't used it yet. I don't use it. I don't want to get like drinks and stuff poured all over it. But how nice would this be on your taxi home and just like relaxing on the bag? I don't think anyone else would have thought of something stupid like that apart from me, but I love it. I love the colour of it as well. And it's so soft. One of my other friends, she got me this set of cups. Now, anyone who knows me, like, probably not on youtube but at home they'll know i'm obsessed with cups and it's a really weird thing but she got me this set of like jars with the different straws and this is honestly the perfect present for me my mum hates it that i get so many cups because there's nowhere left to put them so she started putting them on my windowsill so if i take, take one out and show you they look like this so they're like little vintage jars and then they have the matching stripy straws with the different colours so I absolutely love them and she also got me a top if I can find it in this pile a top from Topshop which looks like this I've wore this actually we went uh, for some drinks in Leeds the other night and I wore it then so I'm just gonna tie it back up because otherwise you can't tell what some it looks like properly and it's a halter neck sort of sparkly green top and this top is just completely me like this is something I would have bought anyway so I was really happy that she'd picked this out for me and she also got me a pair of eyelashes as well which I've used and they're in my makeup drawers so yeah I didn't pick them out. I have a pair of slippers somewhere on my floor but if you could see my bedroom then you'd know that I won't be able to find them because it's an absolute tip but yeah I'm, this, I'm spending this day off just cleaning my bedroom doing my washing and putting all my Christmas stuff away um, so everything left I think is from my mum some like underwear bits and stuff as well but they are in my drawer and she also got me like some grey jogging pants but they are in the wash so I'll show you everything else that she got me she got me this fro which I ha again haven't even taken out the packaging but it goes with the cushions that she got me so I'm guessing it's from Primark but it's really 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 soft and fluffy and it's turquoise and it just goes perfect in my bedroom so I'm going to put that on the end of my bed and she got me this shower gel and it is the Jelly Belly Bubblegum shower gel and it is amazing like oh, it smells so nice I'm proper obsessed with shower gels I don't know why but everyone just knows me too well who's bought me stuff this year um, she got me some pyjama bottoms which again I believe are from Primark and the frozen ones and I've just caught pictures of all the frozen characters all over and she also got me these pyjama bottoms because they go perfectly in my bedroom as you can see it more or less matches my wallpaper so the turquoise with the flowers all over I can't even keep it in my hand and they're the same sort of style where they'd go like cuffed at the bottom and I think they are from Primark as well. Then I've just got a few items of clothing. I got this top from H&M, which again is really me. I always go for sort of the high neck tops. And um, the front is like sparkly gold and the back is plain black. I think this is from H&M as well. Yeah, it is. Uh, this jumper from H&M, which is like, you can't really tell on camera actually, it's like a sparkly green. And my, I always find the jumpers from H&M are my favourite jumpers. This one's actually from H&M. And the pink one and the blue like sparkly one that I wear in quite a lot of videos, they're from H&M as well, but I got them ages ago. So yeah, I haven't even had a chance to wear any of these yet, but that's from H&M. And I think this is the last thing. I think I've shown everything. I can't even move because all the stuff. When we went to Liverpool, um, we, we like to go somewhere different every year to like pick us presents out and stuff and we went to Liverpool this year because they've got quite a lot of independent shops 
so I can't actually remember what this shop was called so I'm really sorry but it was from I, th I think it was in the St John's Centre I don't even know if I've just made that up uh, but I think it was the St John's Centre and it's this jacket if I can get it right it's really hard to show and it's got a furry collar and it's just like a beigey colour and at the end it's got sort of brown bits on the sleeves and pockets and then it's got the it's all sort of lined with that brown bit yeah just the jacket which I haven't worn yet either not worn any of my new clothes yet and that has come to the end of the bag I did get like chocolates and things like that as well but I have eaten those uh, but yeah like I said I have been completely spoiled this year I've got so much stuff and I'm gonna have to have some form of clear out to get everything in but yeah thank you for everyone who bought me stuff and thank you for, to everyone who wished me a Merry Christmas I uh, hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a Happy New Year as well so thank you for watching everyone please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I will leave my Instagram Twitter and Facebook in the down bar if you want to follow me so I'll see you all in my next video, everyone. Bye!